Yeah, my name is Brian Harbors. Uh, we operate here as Brian Harbors Farms. We're located uh, just outside of Monarch, Alberta, Canada. It's about two hours from Calgary. We milk about 125 cows here right now. Uh, we started milking back in 1972. Uh, we started off with 40 cows. Uh, my dad started the operation, my two brothers were involved and over the course of time I bought out one brother, he went on his own and another brother left the farm to pursue other interests. So at this point in time uh, we're farming with my daughter and my son involved in the dairy. My daughter does the feeding, my son does a lot of mechanical and field work. We are milking about, like say, about 125 cows. We farm around a thousand acres between the three of us also. and. Uh, so far, my son's married. We've got a grandson uh, who's five years old, who's very interested in the farm. So we're really looking forward to him coming on board down the, down the road. And my daughter, uh, like I say, she does the feeding and the calves. Uh, so it's, and my wife does the books. She milked for a lot of years, but she doesn't do it anymore. So we're all really involved in the operation and uh, hoping to move forward. We've put in this double 12 uh, <clears throat> parlor from Bomatic and. Um, 2018, June of 2018, we started milking in it. Uh, we came from a double four with eight milkers, uh, herringbone. It worked, but uh, we had to make a decision, uh, get big or get out. Uh, the equipment was old, the barn was old. So we made the decision with the kids' blessing that they, were gonna, they wanted to carry on to invest uh, in the barn. So this is what you see is what we ended up with, was the uh, double 12 parallel, and we're very happy with it. So. The immediate benefit that we saw about going to this route was probably our labor was the big thing. We always felt we looked after our cows pretty good, even in the old barn, even though it wasn't the most efficient. We, we worked after them well. They performed well for us over there, but it was, it was a tougher go for them. The free stalls were smaller, was, the milking was slower in the barn. It, labor was probably the big thing. Like I said, everybody's more happy to come in the barn and milk now because things go faster, easier, um, with less uh, cow uh, interruption. You know, they seem to have, the flow seems to be good into the barn now. Uh, we let's say, of course, we can take on more cows. Um, the cows, we've been in it a little over a year. Definitely, I think overall herd health has improved. Uh, cows don't stand as long uh, to be milked in the holding area. They move quicker through the system, milk out better. We just feel the sanitation has been a real plus for us. Uh, we always had some pretty decent counts before in the old barn, but we've, we've been really fortunate in the new barn. Uh, we just actually, our dairy association had it out awards this uh, two weeks ago for quality milk, and we as an operation here at Harbors Farms won an award for high quality milk. and. Um, a lot of it was, I think, because of the equipment. Uh, we It washes better, sanitizes better, easier to keep clean. So that was a real plus. Uh, overall, I mean, um, like I said, I'm sure we went up in production somewhat, uh, but just overall herd health has just been, the, even the vet comments, herd uh, heat detection with the system we've got from Bomatic, uh, we're just phenomenal how we're catching heats and you know, we're getting the cows settled. Uh, I'm pregnant, so the vet comments on a regular basis, he comes twice a month, how much of an improvement he's seen over the old barn. So that's been a real plus for us. I think that's probably the biggest thing is just the herd health aspect of it and the labor for our operation. So basically the old barn was done. We had to do something different. It was either get better, more efficient, or get out. Uh, we felt that there was still opportunity in the dairy. Uh, we wanted to stay with it. So we made the jump to improve. Basically overall it was, it was outdated. It had had its place, but it was gone that time. And uh, we knew we had to do something, but we felt we had to go in an efficient, big way. And that's why we chose this. It, uh, the, the parallel appealed to us. Um, easier exit for the cows, a uh, little bit more capacity, well, way more capacity than an old barn. And uh, it just, it, it just, it's actually a pleasure to milk now. It was, in the old barn, it was getting pretty uh, tenuous. Uh, nobody wanted to go out and milk hardly anymore. So we went uh, this route and we're, we're very happy with it. Having the displays by every cow, it is, it is very efficient. You can look up at a glance, see what's what this cow had produced in the morning, what she's doing now, call up any records that we need on her. Um, 
it's, <laughs> I haven't, I guess I haven't really even realized what we all can do with what there is available, but it is, it's so, so handy and it just gives you a snapshot, especially as an owner operator working every day with the cows, I can, I can at a glance, you know, and push a couple buttons, see where we're at with that cow. Um, that's been fantastic for working for us. The uh, heat detection system that is incorporated into the system, the auto sort system that we have in the back for sorting cows for either herd elf or breeding has, has just been, well, from what I came from in the old barn, this has been a godsend. It's, uh, we punch them in, uh, they separate, and we're good to go at the end of milking for breeding or herd health. That's probably the best thing that we see of, on the automation is the two is the displays at, at each station and the uh, heat detection system. That's worked really well for us. Right now, we've got a holding system behind me that uh, will hold well a little over 100 cows. Crowd gate drops down. Uh, we move them forward on a, on a uh, timer on the air assist. Uh, push the button, they'll move ahead the X amount of feet, shut it off. Um, cows, they're still, they come in pretty good. Uh, we have, we've had a lot of heifers in the operation and sometimes they're a little bit slower to train. But uh, overall, over, the, over a couple of weeks, they tend to come in better. It's not like everybody walks up at all at the same time, just it isn't a problem. They walk in, turn, and they're ready to go. Uh, once the uh, whole side is done, um, push a button, front end uh, opens up, uh, rapid exit, and out they go. Uh, no, it, it unloads, loads quick, uh, and you turn around is really fast to get back into it again. Uh, in regard to the basement parlor and uh, installation, we went and looked at about five different barns. We saw two other ones with the basement. Uh, that jumped out at us right away. We said that's what we wanted. Uh, right now, if you could see the basement, we've been in it about six, 16 months in this barn. We have not hardly touched anything down in the basement for cleaning. Uh, it's dry. Uh, the equipment stays dry. It's easier for the service guys to come, especially at milking time. They can monitor things while we're milking and they don't, they're not in our way. Uh, we're maybe a little bit fussier than some other outfits, but we really appreciate the fact that everything's downstairs, out of the wet. Uh, everything that is in the basement right now would have to be somewhere in the parlor or in the utility room upstairs. Um, it just keeps things cleaner. Um, I think your equipment lasts longer. Uh, just water and electronics don't mix too good sometimes, so if you can have a dry environment for a lot of your controller equipment, uh, I think it's very, very beneficial in the long run. And for us, it's been really good. Quiet, a little bit quieter in the parlor, uh, than, but overall, uh, I would highly recommend it. It, uh, it works very well, the basement. The benefits from the personal side of building the barn and the equipment is what we did was pretty evident within the first two months of, of starting. Uh, we went from milking probably two and a half to three hours uh, twice a day down to an hour, hour and a half each milking uh, with the new barn. Uh, that was just phenomenal, the amount of time that we, we actually were kind of uh, had to readjust ourselves. Like, to, what are we going to do with all this extra time? We could stay out in the fields longer. We could uh, get to... Uh, functions, uh, personal functions or meetings quicker. Uh, we didn't have to uh, be sitting there trying to figure out who's going to stay and, and finish milking or clean up. And, um, and if we had any problems, it, it would add another half hour onto milking. So it'd be three and a half hours per milking. So no, from, from a personal point of view, it's, it's been uh, very beneficial. Uh, everybody can get out of here quicker, uh, go home you know, to their kids or off to a f function, uh, social event. And uh, most cases with dairymen, it's uh, get done one thing quick and get on to another job quicker again. But uh, no, the time, time that we saved uh, by having the new equipment has, uh, has just been uh, great for us. Uh, we, we love it. Function of the parlor has been, I don't want to overemphasize it, but it is phenomenal. It, it, uh, like I say, we, our counts are low, our, our milk out is good. Uh, Mastitis is not a problem here at all. I mean, I think in the last two months I've treated one cow for mastitis now. Uh, it just functions flawlessly for the most part. I think we've saved phenomenally on chemical from the old barn. It's much more controlled, more, more metered, and uh, it, the results are just there. When you start winning, you know, quality awards for, you know, low somatics and low IBC counts and whatnot, it, 
I think it reflects back not only on the milkers prep and the cows coming in, how clean they are, but it's it's the equipment too, and and that has been I think the biggest plus in the, what we see in the parlor right now. We deal with uh, the Bomatic dealer in Lethbridge, Alberta, which is uh, only about 20 kilometers from our farm. Uh, we've dealt with the Chinook Dairy Service for a lot of years. We've had excellent service up until we put the new barn in, and that was probably one of the reasons why we chose to entertain taking them on as the supplier of our dairy equipment. Uh, they're very uh, conscientious about how they install. They're very knowledgeable on their service guys, and being 20 minutes away, they're there at a drop of a hat. But no, they've been really there for us even before we built the new barn and the old barn to keep the old equipment going. They were more than accommodating to try and keep us up and going with uh, yeah, older equipment just to patch us through to keep us going until we got our new barn going. You can see by the installation in the barn here, they, they do quality work, and we were very happy with it, and that's what we're striving for is quality. Well, uh, our plans for the future here in the Bryan Harbors Farms is probably for the second generation to take over. Um, if it wouldn't have been for the second generation, I wouldn't have probably invested my wife and myself in the dairy as much as what we did. Um, I think there's a future in the dairy for my kids, and that's why we chose to upgrade to, to go that way. I think our plan probably would be to grow the herd. Maybe by, we'd have to by just the scale of economics. Uh, Got to get bigger. We don't know what the supply management system is going to do in Canada. Maybe if it goes, we will have to milk more cows. And I think with the barn design, the way we've set it up, we are positioned to increase, uh, especially our freestall barn. We built it with a plan in mind to add more stalls, build the barn bigger. And I think the double 12 uh, parallel here will you know, give us a lot of capacity over the course of the next few years. So I probably won't be around to see what they're going to do, but uh, we're hoping to position ourselves so that we can, if we want to and can, we can make the jump to a bigger operation. Overall, I would have to seriously say to anybody who is thinking about it in, in our area or even Bomatic in general, check it out. Our, our experience with the equipment has been phenomenal. Uh, the quality is there uh, in a year, a little over a year and a half now. We have very little callback to do anything from the dealership on the equipment. It's rugged, it's stood up. The electronics, we haven't had issues with that at all. Um, we kind of jokingly said that when the warranty ran out after a year, you know, well maybe we should do a quick check and uh, fix anything that might uh, we could do under warranty. Well, we couldn't find anything. Really highly recommend you know you look at Bomatic. Uh, it's it's been really good for us, and I wouldn't go back to anything else at this point in time.